Looks like the housing market won't be getting better anytime soon. The financial analytics company Pfizer says home values are expected to fall another 3.6% by next June. Now, the president's out with a new plan trying to help underwater homeowners refinance their mortgages. Here today, for what it could mean to you, we have a real estate expert, Denny Grimes, from Denny Grimes and Company at Royal Shell Real Estate. Good morning again, Denny. Good Sounds morning. like a great opportunity, perhaps, if you're underwater to refinance. How is it supposed to work? Well, this is really, the, the president talked about a new program last week. It's really not a new program. This is a souped-up version of what was called HARP, Home Affordable Refinance Program, that was initiated in 2009. And that was expected to help about 5 million distressed homeowners, and it fell quite a bit short. So they have this new revised version that is supposed to basically help people that are good, good paying citizens, the ones that are current on their mortgage, stay in the home. And it is a, the, the key word there is refinance, because a lot of people think if they could go from the old in interest rate of maybe 6.5% and refinance them to 3.5%, they could afford the home. They could stay where they are. But the qualifications are, are, are pretty tight. And so the first thing that uh, if you're out there and you want to take advantage of the program, you have to check and see if you qualify. Number one, it has to be a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Loan. And the only way to find out, really, the best way to find out is go to their website, FannieMae.com. You can put in the address and it'll tell you if your loan qualifies based on that. Okay. The second requirement is the loan has to be originally uh, uh, initiated before May 31st of 2009. That could potentially help a lot of folks here in Southwest Florida back in the bubble days. Sure. Now the, now the requirements get kind of stiff. And here's where the banks are trying to reward the good people that are paying. The new program says you have to have been current the last six months and only no more than one 30-day late in 12 months. Well, if homeowners are out there struggling, a lot of them are having a hard time making payments, so you know they are already disqualified. But if you are basically holding on with fingernails and you've been able to be current, so far so good, the program may apply to you. May help you. All right. And one of the biggest changes is, and I've not seen it, what the new the new percentage is, is that it used to be the old program was 125 percent. If you were underwater less than 125 percent, then you could refinance. And that's a big problem in refinancing because the, the values are now below. Mm -hmm. Now, they say the new program will be greater than that, but they're not saying what that might be. But this is where I think it's going to help uh, hurt a lot of people in our area because basically values are down 60%. So We're if you, so far underwater. Well, yeah, well, if you paid $300,000 for a house in 2006 and basically had an 80% loan to value, that means your mortgage was $240,000. Well, X number of years later, your mortgage is maybe two thirty, dollars but the value is one twenty. dollars so the loan to value is 195 percent, not 125 percent. So, you know, it's just like it's like the lottery, Rob. I mean, there are millions of people buy a ticket. And there's a few people that benefit. So this this program will be there will be a few people that can benefit, and they should take advantage of it. But this combined with what lenders are doing to, to incentivize people to get out of short sales. You know, homeowners need to take advantage of whatever they can right now because the government and the banks are, are rooting for them. Yeah, so there may not, it may not be there, but at least check your options because if you don't ask, you don't get. Absolutely. All right, Denny, thanks for coming in. If you have any questions for Denny, send out an email to uh, Denny at DennyGrimes.com. We'll try to get them answered here. We'll be right back.